Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we're going to be in John chapter 6. I'm going to read verses 41 through 42. It reads, So the Jews grumbled about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down from heaven? So backing up to verse 31, the small group of the 5,000 has chased Jesus down because, well, he fed them by means of a miracle. But the problem that this created for them was that this one miracle was so good, it had them hooked. And this is the problem sometimes with miracles, right? One is never enough if you don't see the purpose behind them. Now, they're all distracted by all these peripheral matters surrounding this miracle. They even justify their right to another miracle by pointing to the sweet bread. I call it the banana bread in the desert because that's how banana bread works. You can't just have one piece. So that's my dad joke for today. So Jesus' response to this issue is twofold. First, in verse 32, he points out that the connection they've made is wrong. Moses did not provide the manna in the desert. God did. And then second, he's going to pick up on the word bread and use it as a metonym. And this is key because if you don't understand two words here as metonyms, they are bread and flesh. It's just going to come up in a few more verses. Then you're going to derive meaning from this text that is completely incorrect. So what is a metonym? (laughs) <laughs> Simply put, it's a word used as a substitution for something else. Uh, for example, uh, maybe calling a car a ride is a metonym, or referring to your hometown as your turf. Uh, those are both metonyms. Uh, this means Jesus uses the word bread here as a stand-in for something else, a better bread, which is himself. And in doing so, he picks up on a few qualities from the metonym. First, that he came down from heaven, like the manna. Uh, Second, that he is provided by God, like the manna was. And third, he satisfies their spiritual hunger, kind of like the manna. And some of the Jews present pick up on this connection, but then they get stuck on the first quality there that he says, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And the reason why they get stuck is they actually make the connection. They understand the metonym, and it infers that Jesus was not created. He always existed. He is the pre-existing manna who has come down from heaven to provide himself as the bread of life. But their problem is, well, they know his earthly parents, Mary and Joseph. (laughs) So they're having a big issue with his metonym. (laughs) Now, I want to say this. Jesus is a stunning teacher. What he does here is marvelous. It's magnificent. It's incredible. And his teaching is only going to get better in the coming verses. But remember, Our salvation is not dependent on our knowledge of his teaching. So don't let the teaching matter become something that distracts you. It's just a peripheral issue. His teaching is only a guide to point us to what? The best bread. And the bread is him. He came down by God to give life and we must consume, quotes, consume him with our what? Belief. And the table is set, fellas, with plenty of bread. And really, the choice is yours. Will you set and eat or not? I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you today. If it has, share it with someone else. And I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.